Yes, Mr. Muslim Prince, how are you? <laughs> hello, hello, Christian Prince. Uh, I wanted, I have one doubt, two, three doubts. You have what? About, I have two, three doubts about Christianity. Can you explain me? You have a three doubt? Why, why not 100? Are you uh, are you the same as uh, are you are you are you uh, are you are you a Trinity Muslim? Because your prophet, when he say Salam alaikum, he say it three times. When he do do he do it three times. When he do anything, he say when he say when he say this guy won the debate, he say it three times. So now you have a three doubt about Christianity. I mean, why three? Why not four? <laughs> um, Francis, Fran uh, sorry, not Francis. Sorry, Christian Prince. Listen. Hmm. Uh, I, I will have one doubt, please. Uh, two, two doubts, mm. mainly two doubts. The mm. One is New Testament. So what doubt, happened now? It, is, it, uh, it was a three. Why you make it two? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. Third doubt is also there, but but no. yeah, these are the main two doubts. Please, please, please. Mm. Yeah, listen. To me. So, but but you, you don't want to talk uh, about our topic. You don't want to talk about our topic because our topic is very interesting too. We can talk about your topic, no problem. But I have in front of me a verse from the Quran saying that Allah will cause you to forget the Quran. And I don't understand really because as like you are a Muslim prince, obviously you're high authority, like you know what you're talking about. So why Allah will send me the Quran and then he will cause me to forget the Quran? Uh, can we discuss my topic, please? We are discussing your topic, my friend. Here we go. Allah, he sent the Bible and now he forgot the whole Bible. This is what we are talking about. Where is the Bible? It's gone. Do you have the Bible? You don't have the Bible. <laughs> I mean, what kind of uh, God, what what kind what kind of God your God is? You Muslim, you claim there's no Bible no more. Okay, isn't it the Bible sent by Allah? Okay, so Allah sent the Bible, and then He caused us to forget the Bible. I'm asking you, we're on the topic, <laughs> you know, what kind of God He sent the Bible, and He make it forget the Bible? Why He did that? Uh, CP. It would say, P, I want an answer, my friend. Here we go. You call me and you were, you were excited. To, you were excited to expose me. And here we go. We have, we are talking about the Bible. Forget about the Quran, brother. Allah, he sent the Torah, brother. A brother, a brother. Allah, he sent the Torah. Allah, he sent the Torah. Okay, Allah. And then Allah caused us to forget the Torah. Why? Explain to me. I'm listening to you. What a stupid religion. What's wrong with you? Why why you are scared to answer? I mean you are the Muslim. I'm asking you. I don't 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 answer me. Just explain yourself as a Muslim how you can believe in such a madness. So Allah is in the book, and then Allah will make you forget the book. And then Allah will accuse you of corrupting the book, which he caused you to forget it. I mean explain to me. I can I'm really going crazy here, brother. I didn't understand your doubt. Okay, let me explain it to you more. Who is the one who sent the Torah? <clears throat> Allah. Okay. Where is the Torah? Uh, like, what do you mean? Well, oh, okay. See, uh, it, it, it did exist in an uncorrupted form. No, no, where, 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 where is that? No, no, my friend, don't, don't tell me it exists. Where it exists? Do you have it? No. Okay. So, Allah, did Allah cause, did Allah cause you Muslim to forget the Torah? Forget it. So where uh, it is? It was it was distorted. If 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 if. So Allah, He okay. Isn't it the Quran says nothing but happen by the will of Allah? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, so that, but that's mean. Allah okay. Is, so uh, so. Uh, Islam but, also teaches us that Allah is all just. Since okay. Allah is all just, hmm. like divine will and human will isn't like sync. Like I mean, uh, you have you have both wills in sync. Like. Allah doesn't force things to do, but everything that exists is, is like it is within the subset of God's will. Mm. Well, this is not what the Quran is saying. This is your own fiction. You know, look like you are watching too much cartoon because the Quran says that Allah. Oh, here we go. The Quran. You see, our judge is the Quran, not your cartoon. You know, you are watching Mickey Mouse. This is the Quran saying that Allah He entrusted the Jews to protect the Torah. 
So what Allah he did, read the Quran, chapter 5, verse number 44. CCP, CCP, CCP. Hmm. Hmm. CCP, did you, would you, would you want to discuss Kamal Yudin? No, this is this is more, my friend, trust me, this Quran is, is smell more than camel urine. It's a stink. Don't change the topic. What kind of God? He sent the Torah. And then he says, I trust you to protect the Torah, which means he want to protect the Torah. And then the Torah is gone. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Where, where does it say, where does it say God trusted to protect the Torah? Chapter 5, verse number 44. Chap, wait, let me open chapter 5, verse number 44. Hmm. Worst for 44. Hmm. Uh, okay, uh, it doesn't say Allah will protect it. It says there, for it, for for to them, it was entrusted the protection of Allah book. No, no, no. To, in my translation, it says, indeed, we send down the Torah in which we was was hmm. guidance and light. Mm. The prophets who submitted to God judged by it for the Jews. Mm. And? For the Jews, as did the rabbis and scholars, by that which they were interested of the scripture of Allah. Thank, thank you. You just, said, you, you just said exactly what I said. They are entrusted to the book of Allah. So Allah, he trusts the rabbi to, to protect his book. Does it say that? You just read that. It doesn't say protect his book. It says there was... Entrusted, entrusted, yes, entrusted. No, it says no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Be mustahfudu, stuhfudu. Be mustahfudu, which means in what day, order to keep to protect or stuhfudu. So when I do that, ahfudu shay, it's mean I protect it, I keep it, I will never let it go destroy. So Allah, He is the one who is saying He entrusted the Jews. What Jews? The Rabbi specifically and the prophets. To do what? To protect the Torah. That's what the verse is saying. You can open any interpretation you want. Uh, just give, give me once, give me 20 seconds. No problem. Uh, I will give you 20 uh, years. When will you clarify my doubt? Huh? I have one doubt. I have some doubts. Uh, when, when, when do you think you can clarify them? What, what? I have some doubts about Christianity. Some my friend, you are a Muslim. What doubt about Christianity? I am. My, see, my, see, name, my see, name is Dekanaik. Doubt you are a Muslim. So you don't say I have a, some doubt about Christianity. Either you believe in Christianity or you are a Muslim. Are you a Muslim or a Christian? Uh, I have. I have. I have some doubts about Christianity. Are you a Muslim or a, are you a Muslim or a Christian? I'm a Muslim. Okay, so what you are saying, I have a doubt about Christianity. This is this is a very very uh, an untruthful statement because this is something. No, no, this is a statement. Somebody will say if he is a Christian, I have a doubt about my faith. But you don't say to somebody else you don't believe in anyway. About I have doubt about it. This is this is silly from you to say. Speak as an adult, please. So don't change the topic now. What kind of God? He sent the Torah to the Jews, and he entrusted the Jews to protect the Torah, and then Allah. He confirmed that nobody can destroy his word and nobody can exchange his word. And then Allah is saying in the Quran in different verse that Allah will cause even Muslims to forget the Quran and to forget the Torah and to forget his words. Does it say that or I'm lying? Uh, just, just give, give me one minute. Uh, hmm. Surah 544. Did you just check, let me check something. Hmm, check something. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, give me 20 seconds. 544, 544. We'll give you 20 years, no problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> as long as we have a camel urine, I mean, who cares? We have all the time. Camel urine is the best. Forget about the rest. In, in your Instagram bio, it says that you're a scholar, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm schooling you immediately. Like, no, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm schooling you every day. Have you ever seen a Muslim calling me? He didn't get busted. No, 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 no. no. So sorry, sorry, CP again, again, <laughs> CP. Can you name me? I'll ask you a quick question. You, you no, I cannot name you. I can, I cannot name you. I cannot name you because the only scholar I know, the only teacher, I, the only, the, the only teacher, I, the, the only teacher I have, the only teacher I have is Zakir Naik. Anything you want about Zakir Naik, I, I will answer you. Anything else, I don't know. No, don't change the topic. You are being a kid now. You are trying to escape the stupidity of your God. What kind of God? He sent the book and he caused you to forget the book. Okay, okay. Let, let, let's see. 
let's look at barely review with the ra. Where is it? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, so. So what happened? Allah he entrusted the Jews to protect the book. Was Allah wrong in his trust? Did he trust the wrong one? When I say to you, I trust you, what does that mean? Explain to me. What the word trust mean in your language, in your understanding, in your knowledge? Communication, you know, for people. Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry. Hmm. See, you're not ask, answering a single question that I've asked. You did not ask many questions, and you are changing the topic, and you are playing a kid like a kid. You, I'm you know, you know in the mo in the morning, in the when you text me in the morning, it, you were so excited. Okay. I'm going to expose you. I'm going to get you busted. I'm and now here we go. You are calling me. Suddenly you became a potato. My friend, my friend, why you don't want to say to us what kind of God are you ashamed? This God, he sent the book, he trusts the Jews. What did he, did, did he, did he, did he, did he do? Did he? Musa ibn Amra. Listen, hello. Yeah, verily we reveal to the Torah, the ISS. Like, it means we reveal the Torah to Musa alayhi salam. Musa, Musa who? You said, you said, you said Musa, hold on. Hold on, you, you said, you said, Musa, you said, you said, you said, no, 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 you said something, I heard the word, uh, I, I heard the word, I want to be sure you said that, you said Musa ibn Imran, correct? Yeah. Okay, so Musa, guys, is ibn Imran, are you sure? Yes. Okay, the chapter of al Imran, chapter in the Quran, it's called chapter of Ali Amran. Is that correct? Don't change the topic now. I'm not changing the topic. I'm not changing the topic. I'm not. I'm not changing the topic. I'm not changing the topic. I am not. Trust me, I am not. How in the world that Mary, her father, his name is Amran, and Musa's his father is Amran, and the brother of Musa's he is the brother of Mary. So here we go. Musa's is the son of Amran. Harun is the son of Amran. Maryam, Maryam is the son of Amran. So according to your stupid Quran, Moses is the uncle of Jesus. This is why I say to you, you are the one who said, guys, did, did he say, did he say, did, did, he, did, he, did he say, did he say, Muhammad, Muhammad Hijab, we got him busted. He's a stupid, he's a coward. You don't even dare to debate me. You start playing videos and hang up on me. He's a coward. Uh, sorry. Is sorry, a, a CP, listen to me, listen mm. to me, listen to me. You will not, me. what kind okay. of a prophet, what kind of a prophet he's saying that Musa ibn Umran okay. and Mary okay. ibn, ibn, ibn to Umran, how Musa and Umran, they became, they became, <laughs> okay, go ahead. Please, okay. Okay. it says, verily we reveal the Torah, it means like we reveal, like God revealed Torah to mm. Musa alayhi salam, mm. then the next, uh, what is, in which was guidance in the past is, in the past tense, mm. it means like as it guided people to faith and truth and protected against and protected people against mm. falsehood and misguidance. Mm. And then it says and like guidance and light. Mm. It means like what, the, the word what, light what verse you are reading? What verse? What, what verse you are reading? Illuminate the dark. What, what verse you are reading? Confusion. What verse you are reading? Uh, Surah five forty four. Surah five verse what? Forty four. Forty four. Okay, go ahead. Read it for us. Can you read it for us? All right. Yeah, verily we reveal the Torah in which was guidance and light. Uh, hmm. And then it says, uh, like, the prophets who submitted a judge by it for the Jews. Hmm. I'll, I'll explain it word by word, yeah. Now it says, and light, and guidance and light. It means, like, Torah had, <coughs> Torah uh, originally that was revealed to Musa al Islam had hmm. light to illuminate the darkness of confusion. Hmm. Species arguments with the desires, etc., etc. Hmm. And now it says, uh, like it says, uh, the prophets who submitted judged by it for the Jews. Yes, hmm. it was like a law for the Jews, of hmm. course. Hmm. Uh, like in, in cases of dispute, questions, and and the uh, fiqh rulings. In this case, uh, like. Uh, Basically, the, the prophets followed the teaching of the Torah, and then 
uh, like as did the rabbis and the scholars. That is, the religious leaders of the Jews hmm. ruled on the basis of the Torah. The word translated here as rabbis, like I mean, refers to knowledgeable people hmm. who act upon their knowledge and teach others in the best way. And hmm. they follow the path of the compassionate prophets in their dealings with the people. Hmm. Well, they were well, translated here as but, scholars. But, to but where, where is, scholars, I mean, you are, you are, you are talking too much. You are saying nothing, my friend. I want the answer. Did Allah trust the rabbi in the protection of the Torah? Yes or no? Uh, did did Allah entrust the... No, no. Not, not in a sense that Torah will be preserved after handing it over to the rabbis. In that sense, no. Okay. Okay. Oh, guys, not in the sense that the rabbi will preserve it. So who is the one who should preserve it? You are the one who said that. Remember, not me. Guys, not in the sense... Was, Hold on. You are, the, you are the one who said... No, listen, 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 listen. Let me finish. You are the one who just said... It is not the rabbi who they are interested to protect the Torah. So who is the one supposed to protect it? Ah uh, no 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 no! I didn't say they are not interested to protect the Torah. I said that the ayah doesn't mean that the rabbis are going to necessarily protect it in the future. That's what I said. Okay, so what does it mean when you say entrusted? That's mean he he trusted them, correct? Okay, it it means that the religious leaders of the Jews, mm -hmm. uh, like the knowledgeable people, uh -huh. they uh. They acted according to the Torah. They they uh, they Fo follow the path. Focus the path on the, the trust thing, my it. friend. Stop playing games. Focus on the trust. Allah did He trust the Jews to protect the Torah? Did He or did not? No. Okay. Who is the one in charge no. of protecting the Torah then? Okay. It doesn't say. And in my translation, it doesn't say. Uh, don't tell me. I, I, I don't care. I'm asking you who is the one supposedly will will protect the Torah. If not, the Jews are supposed to protect it according to your understanding. I'm going with you. No problem. Who is the one should no, no, protect okay, the book of Allah? My, according to my understanding, hmm. uh, Torah was support, supposed to be corrupted. It, it, it was going to happen. Hmm. It so why, why is supposed? It is, is, that, is, is that Allah's decision? He wanted to be corrupted? What do you mean supposed to be corrupted? Mm. What, what I mean by it was supposed to be corrected is that it is it is uh, it is the father of Allah. Uh -huh. That doesn't mean Allah forced it to happen, but, okay. but it means that it was within Allah's will. All right, guys. Allah, He made a fate for the Quran, the fate, the destiny, correct? The destiny of the Torah to be corrupted, correct? What? The what? The destiny, destiny. You just said Qadar. Qadar means the destiny. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, so guys, yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Yeah. Muslim Prince, he said that it was Allah's decision, his decision, that the destiny of the Torah to be corrupted. That's mean Allah is the shaitan. Because if is the, the who is the one who who is the one who corrupt? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who is the one who will get the benefit? Hold on. Who is the one who will get the benefit from corrupting the book of Allah? You tell me. Give me an answer. Benefit from uh, corrupting the book of Allah. Mm, who? Firstly, firstly, before I answer this, I I don't, no, don't tell me firstly and secondly. No, no, no. It's, the answer is simple. Who is the one? Let us say that they assume that Allah is God. We assume for the sake of argument. Who is the one will get the benefit of corrupting the book of God? Who is the one get the benefit? I will name for you three people. Uh, I will name for you three people. people uh, hold on. I will, I will name for you three people: Muhammad, Jibril, or Shaitan. Which one you choose? None. None? So Shaitan will not get the benefit of corrupting the book of Allah? Shaitan will just mislead people. I will not. Okay, but isn't it, isn't it, is it, okay, but isn't it, but isn't it corrupting the book of Allah is the biggest misleading ever? I mean, this is how smart you are. You just say Shaitan, he want to mislead you, but corrupting a book is going to mislead people. Don't you agree? Hey, Francis. <laughs> he keep calling me okay, Francis. Somebody told him my name is Francis. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. No, no, no. Who is the one will get? This is the book of Allah. This is not. This is. This is not. We are. We are not. No, 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 no. You see, no. That, that, that's no. That, 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 no. That's that's stupid. Of, that is a stupid of you. That is a stupid of you to say because God created the people. He did not make them Hindu. We don't believe in this in Christianity. We don't believe in faith like you. But you are the one who just said to me, "This is your belief, not our belief." It's you, according to you. Allah, He made the Hindu Hindus. Allah, He made the Christian Christians. Allah, He made the Jews Jews. This that's is you. 
Made doesn't mean like he forced them. He no, he forced them. Okay, let me, okay. Are you saying, okay, Muslim prince, are you saying, are you saying your, your prophet is a liar? <clears throat> no. Okay. What, what kind of work will make a man, when Adam, he committed a sin, did he commit a sin because of his choice or because Allah forced him? It was because of Allah's choice and Adam's choice in sync. What do you mean? It was both, both the wills, both, both. It was Adam's free will and God's free will. Like, sorry, not God's free will, but God's well, will as well. Obviously, obviously, okay, both. okay, thank you. Obviously, that's mean your prophet is a liar. Because here we go, your prophet in Sahih al-Bukhari, hold on. In Sahih al-Bukhari, and put it in the screen, you can watch it. It says that Musa, he accused Adam that because of you, we are out of heaven. Okay, Musa is accusing Adam. So Adam, he said to him, are you blaming me for an action which I must commit? For Allah, he read it for me in my faith. 40 years before my creation, I have to commit. It's a must to commit. So you said to me, you did lie to us saying that this is the free will of Adam and the decision of Allah. That's a big fat lie. And your prophet, he exposed you. So either you are lying to me or Muhammad is lying to me. Which one is a liar between you? Your misinterpretation of my hadith is my friend. Liar. No, so my, my friend, your, your don't say, don't, don't say, Mr. Don't tell me misinterpretation. The hate in front of us, you are more than welcome to read it and take your time to explain it. What do you say? Are you are you willing to explain it to us? And then everybody will see that you are fabricating answers, have nothing to do with what happened are you willing to read it uh, or you are not willing to read it <clears throat> cp listen we i think we have spent enough time discussing your doubt I no 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 we are not uh, we, we did not get the answer my, yet my, no, my, my friend we have to get the answer please, we get no please, answer please, yet please, uh, don't force me now. to hang up on you you promised me you would expose me either you get me busted right now or you have nothing to say you just say you just say it a big fat lie you just expose you just insulted your prophet that he's a big fat liar because your prophet saying that adam must commit sin it's a fate uh, everybody here has heard us that i have explicitly said that it was your misinterpretation that okay then you I have okay no problem guys it is my misinterpretation so why you want to read what your prophet said and then we will see if it's my misinterpretation see, see, see. okay, okay I'll answer you. listen uh, according to islam we have free will that is explicit and according to islam there are texts like not even a leaf falls except by Allah's permission. So to uh, reconcile both texts, hmm. what we say okay, is Okay, can you show me? Can you can you show me? Can you show me one statement of your prophet about a free will? Uh yeah, yeah, sure. Just hmm. give me ten seconds, yeah. Okay. Sure. Hmm. Uh, I'll show you either from the Quran or the Sunnah. I can't say that my prophet will say, but yes, hmm. inshallah from Quran or Sunnah. Okay, also. so why okay, I have it in front of you in front of you my friend it says it clearly that adam he commits sin for it was a decree from allah are you accusing your prophet to be a liar does it say it's a decree from allah does it say that he must commit does it say he have no choice but to do does it say that you are you blaming me are you blaming me for what is written for me before i was created for a sin i have to commit it's in the front of you, man. Stop being a stubborn. Can't you? Can't you be? Can't you be honest? Can't you be honest? Can't you be honest? The debate is what? Do you blame me or you don't blame me? Your prophet, he took the side of Adam that we cannot blame Adam for the sin he commit. It's very clear. Even your prophet said so. Uh, so uh, Adam confuted Adam. Musa. Do you have any plans of debating Farid? He's the coward. He don't dare to call me. Give me his Skype. I will call him right now. He's a potato. He, he, he said that he will book your flight ticket. But you see, you see, this you, is you're this is additional proof that he's a coward because everybody knows I will not go anywhere. I do not need to go anywhere. It take a call in Skype and everybody either will laugh at him or at me. This is an excuse because he knew that I don't go anywhere. So it's like saying to Allah, I challenge you, Allah, come to me. But everyone knows Allah will not come. 
So it's it's a challenge. It's a challenge of a, it's a challenge of a coward. Your 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 Fifi your Fifi. He knew I'm not going to do that. I don't do that to anyone. Like, did you see me ever going to debate anyone in the stage before? Is it like something about Farid only because he's something like a superstar? He's a stupid idiot kid. So he is a coward. Hijab himself accept to accept my call in Skype. He did not let me talk. He hang up on me eight times. I did not even talk 30 seconds. They are a bunch of cowards. So they make excuses. How come they are willing to take a Skype call from everybody? Did this guy debate the apostate prophet in Skype? Yes, he did. How come he can't do it with me? Because he's a potato. He is he is terrified. Like you, you are doing poop on your panty now. And look, here we go. The hate in front of you. You change to Fifi. What Fifi can let her Fifi help you? <laughs> yeah. The, this Fifi, he he speak in Skype always. All what he do is in YouTube. Suddenly he wanna fly to me. He wanna have a date with me. If he wanna see Christian Prince, I cannot. I cannot do it unless I see Christian Prince. I wanna see Christian Prince. Please, I challenge you. I challenge you. I mean, isn't it obvious that this is a challenge of every dancer? Christian Prince, how old are you? How old are you? I am in the age of your grand grandfather. What does this have to do with this, my idiot? Answer: Is that your prophet saying? That this is the destiny of Adam and nobody can blame him. Nobody can blame him. Allah he wrote in the destiny of Adam 40 years before he created me created him that this is a sin he must commit, yes or no? <clears throat> no. Well, sorry the hate for us then. Uh, see, 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 don't force me to up on you. Read it. It says, Do you blame me? For doing a deed which Allah had decreed that I should do 40 years before he created me. Then your prophet says, so Adam got the better of Musa's argument. And he repeat that three times like you. So Muhammad, he agreed with Adam that we cannot blame Adam for the sin he commit. For this is the decree from Allah 40 years before he created him. Uh, <coughs> Christian Prince. Um, regarding like like see, we, we definitely believe that there is God's will and free will, of course. But uh, don't tell me we believe. You, you see, you are changing the topic. Your yes, prophet, either you, I want you to comment com what your prophet said. Your prophet, he agree that we cannot blame Adam for his sin. He said he said it clearly. He didn't let me explain to you. Uh, he said it clearly. It's simple. Musa said to him, because of you, we are of paradise. Adam, he said to him, no, you cannot blame me for something which Allah decreed for me 40 years before he created me. Your prophet took the side of Adam. So we, it's very simple. Can we blame Adam for his sin? No. Why? Because it was a decree of Allah. The hate is very simple. Which hadith is this? Adam and Musa alayhi This all over. What do you want? I can give you tons of them. Which one you want? <clears throat> this is the, as an example here, Sahih Muslim. So you can say it's weak. Sahih Muslim, hadith number two six five two. Allah tells us that man. Okay, I'll give you by evidence right now that we have free will. Allah tells us that man believes and does righteous deeds, like from like from free will. Mm. Uh, then he enters Jannah, mm. or oh, and when he disbelieves, he will enter Jahannam. Mm. Okay. What? And uh, what? 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 Say again? Oh yeah, yeah. Allah, firstly, Allah says that Allah is just. Uh, like if Allah. What this had to do with my question, man? Guys, Allah is just. No, Allah is not just. Let me show you. When you commit adultery, do Allah punish you for adultery? Yes or no? Uh, Allah can forgive. No, no, I'm not asking you. Okay, let us say somebody. Uh, he commit adultery and he asks for repentance according to Islam still he will be punished so let us say he repent he forgive but what if somebody he did not repent Allah will punish him if he, even if he does not repent Allah can forgive so Allah will not punish anyone for adultery are you saying that to me no, no, I'm saying that except major shirk Mm -hmm. Allah, it's up to Allah if Allah will forgive or not forgive. Okay, we will go to Allah the shark. Okay, we will forgive. go to the shark. But if somebody commit adultery, and then he will go to hell for one of the sins he commit is adultery, Allah will punish him or not? Not necessarily. 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 Not
necessarily. Maybe yes, maybe no. It depends to Allah. Allah will decide it on Qiyamah. Okay, no problem. So it's maybe yes, right? Yeah, it's maybe yes. Okay, yeah. is adultery is a choice you make or it is a decree from Allah? It is both. It is both. <laughs> no, you are a liar. Read the hadith. Here we go. It's in front of you. This is the hadith in the screen. Read it for us. Just give me one minute. Yeah. Mm. In uh, in Surah. Read the hadith. I have it for you on the screen. Don't tell me Surah Bura. Surah Bura. Listen. The hadith in front of you. Let me read it for you. The Prophet said, not me. Verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery, which the man. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. Okay. Regarding free will. Listen, listen now. Surah 9. No, read the, the hadith. Read the hadith. Read the hadith. You can read the surah for me after. No problem. Read the hadith. We, we don't change the topic. We're talking about adultery now. You, you say you say that both of them. That's is very, very funny. That's mean you call Allah. Say, Allah, hey, I'm going to do adultery. Do you like me to do it? Allah, he says, yes. So Allah is a partner in the in the bed with you. <laughs> which hadith? Which hadith? It's in which front hadith? of you. It's on the screen. Hey, Sahih Muslim 2657B. 2657B. <clears throat> two six five seven B. Okay. Hmm. Destiny. Read it. Two six five seven B. Two six five seven B. Yeah. Sahih Muslim. Yeah. Uh, two six five six two six five seven B. Very really Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in and which hmm. he of necessity must commit. The hmm. adultery of the eyes, the lustful look. And the old tree. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So okay. yeah, yeah. So, so it's a what? So what? It's a necessity. He must commit. It's not a choice. Why you are lying to me? Says the free will. It's a necessity. He must commit. So why Allah will punish you? How how stupid this religion is? So is corrupting the Torah is a necessity. He must commit. You are the one who said to me, it's a qadr from Allah. It's a destiny from Allah to corrupt, corrupt the Torah. And this is in total agreement with this. So it's Allah, so Allah is the Jesus biggest Christ. fat liar. Uh, Allah is the biggest fraud. Okay, hold on. How you go sleep with the women, and then it is Allah who decide for you before He created you that you will sleep with that woman, and it's a sin which against Allah. And then Allah will punish you for the sin which is against Allah. But He is the one who forces you to do it. Types of text which are. <laughs> Which are in contrast. Take care, my friend. Take care. I have no time. No, no time for kids.